So an 0 for 4 start for Dayton from the floor. And the Northwestern trying to stay running with Barnheiser. And he makes it seven in a row. Barnheiser defending late in the clock with five on the shot clock to Holmes. Long pass, it's Cheeks drilling a three. Uh, Cheeks is a young man that transferred from Robert Morris, had a, a big game and uh, had the special season where the, the COVID lockdown year where we didn't have the tournament. They probably would have been a one seed and uh, he he did a great job of 29 and two that year and just didn't get to play in the tournament. Well, the Cats like to see that from Martinelli. And this Northwestern offense was two guard look last year led by Bowie and Chase Saudis. Now it's Bowie and Barnheiser with his second inside the lane. But right at the head of the key is the ball handle. Yeah, just bringing the big guys out on the court. I, I told you it's always tough when yeah. you get big guys out on the court to make your big defender move. Northwestern's done a great job of protecting the paint, but uh, you got to give credit to Dayton with making the right pass and getting those open threes. Ty Berry probing and all the way to the rim. They've done a great job. It's just those open threes that have kept Dayton in the game. A Langborn, a uh, known shooter, and off the bounce. Nice move. So Northwestern scoring off of the pass from one of the most improved players in the Big Ten last year, Brooks Barnheiser. Oh, nice skip up at Holmes up top. Off the give from Cheeks. And so this is interesting here. That was the second foul on Preston. He stays in the game, and he's guarding the best player for Dayton Holmes. Bennett on a quick step and a beautiful kiss off the window. But they turn the ball over. Seven, six, seven assists, six turnovers. Bowie trying to get going again. And an offensive rebound leads to the Martinelli putback. The thing they talked about with Ryan Langley is it, not that he's just a shooter, but he's got some toughness, and he can make plays. Got, this is another key guy, Nick Martinelli. Clock dripping. Boo Booey going to work. In on Holmes, and he scores. Sometimes, always, never. Sometimes. <laughs> Langborg stays hot. Good little penetration. Almost turned it back into Northwestern's hands. Dayton's turned it over back-to-back -back trips. And Holmes catches in. Baskets at the hoop that they just haven't gotten anything out of. Holmes has scored eight points in a row. Driving kick. Bennett drills it. Western inside the top 50. Both teams with a big non-conference chance for an early season resume boost. And Barnheiser feeling nice out of halftime. Back in the hands of Bennett. Holmes going to work. And the slam! You got a chance to cramp, you got a chance to help. But in the middle, it's it's up to you, one-on-one -on -one defense. Brea drills it from deep. Robbie Barron and Chase Saudis, the two that they did lose in the starting lineup. And Barnheiser sliding right in, playing well back-to-back -back games. And a foul plus the bucket. Bowie scored 27 on opening night. He's sitting on nine points right now. Off a little fake into double digits. That's a little ISO. They came up. And Barnheiser draws Santos. Cut off on the reattack. Oh, Barnheiser stayed with it. And 7 to 10, but Barry in to wrestle it out. Give it right back to him. And he catches it in. Now Barnheiser has size on Bennett. And the spin in and out. Nicholson's tap, no. Barnheiser, no. Volleyballed again. And a fourth chance for the Cats. Barry drills it. Brea with the answer. Stays a four point game. Inside a half minute. Here's Bennett. Slides it inside, Santos, and it's down to two points. In the final five seconds, Bennett. Bennett with one on the clock and gives it up, and Northwestern beats Dayton.